This is tutorial number 39, and it covers how to use the pad feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up a Katia V5 part. Now what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is covering the pad feature, so you can find it in the toolbar over here, or if you go to insert, sketch base feature, and you can click pad. Now to use the pad, what you have to have is a profile or sketch to extrude or make a pad from. So to start off, what we're going to have to do is create a sketch to make our pad from. So let's click sketch and we'll click the front plane here and let's sketch out a rectangle. And let's dimension this rectangle. So click constraint and let's make this 50 by 100. Now let's exit this workbench and go back to the part design. And what we're going to do is we're going to extrude this out 50 millimeters. So click pad and we'll click on the sketch. So when you click pad, you're going to get this pad definition window and it's going to show you all the different things you need to select to get your pad to work. So right now we have it as the type for dimension. Now, if you open this window here, you're going to see there's a, a bunch of different types. You can do up to next, up to last, up to plane and up to surface. For now, we're just going to do the dimension and you're able to dimension it to this length. Now it wants the profile or surface, so let's click this profile here. And for length, let's type in 50. Now if you want to see what it looks like, if you click preview, it's going to bring it up as your preview in wireframe. So it's going to show what the 50 millimeters looks like. And if we type in 20, click preview again, it's going to bring it back to that 20. So let's put in 50, click OK. And now we've extruded it out 50 millimeters. Now let's click that same plane and let's click sketch and let's draw a couple circles. Now don't worry about dimensioning them, just throw them in. And now we'll go back to our workbench. Now if we open up the part body, you'll see that this pad, there's one sketch associated with it. Now we're going to make another pad and it's going to use this sketch here. So when you're using a pad, you have to choose each sketch that you want to use. So in this case, we're going to use this sketch and we're going to create two pads coming up from it. As the sketch has two closed profiles, we're able to make these two pads. So let's click pad and we'll leave it at dimension and we'll click that you can either click on the sketch in the window or you can click on the sketch from the tree. So let's click from the tree and you can see it's going to extrude it out 50 millimeters. Now, you're able to reverse the direction. If you notice, this arrow here is the direction it's being uh, extruded out from. So if you click reverse, it's going to put it in the opposite direction. So you're able to click it and reverse the directions. Now let's click OK. Let's put it in the reverse direction and click OK. Now let's click this face here and let's click sketch. So now we're creating a sketch and we're going to extrude from this surface. So let's zoom in a little bit. Now let's click this line here and press control and click this line here and let's extract these uh, edges. So let's click project 3D elements and we're going to do this so that we can position another extrude. So let's click circle and we're going to use the center point here and create our circle. So let's make our circle, make it 25. And now let's make it from this edge to the center point. Let's make it 50. And from the center point to this edge, Let's make it 25. So now we've positioned it in the center of this uh, rectangle. Now either you can delete these lines or if you select them and click construction, we can turn them into construction lines and we can leave it while we extrude out. So as an example, what we're going to do is we're going to extrude it out with these construction lines. So let's click exit workbench, click this sketch, 
click pad and we're going to extrude it out 50, click OK. Now it works because we put those lines as construction lines. Now if we go back into that sketch, we'll double click on it. If we click one of those lines and turn it back from a construction, it's going to give us an error and it's not going to extrude. This is just to show you that with the pad feature, you need to have a closed profile. Now if we click uh, Tools Sketch Analysis, it's going to tell you that you have one closed and one isolated. Now let's just try to get out of there and let it rebuild and it's going to show you an error. Now it showed you an error as there's open profiles. Now press close, we'll go back into that sketch, click that line and we'll put it back to construction. Now when we go to rebuild it, it's going to come back up. So this is just to show you that you need to have these closed profiles to make these uh, these pads and extrusions. So now let's click uh, this face here, click sketch, and let's draw a circle over here. Don't worry about the dimension, and let's extrude this one out. Let's click pad, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make a mirrored extent. So let's click mirrored extent, and what that does is it makes the profile or the sketch that we have it makes it a mid-plane, so it's going to extrude 50 millimeters both way. And you can see from the preview. So let's click OK, and it's gone in both directions from this plane. Now let's click this face here, click Sketch, and we're going to do one more. So let's create a square, and let's dimension this square to 100 by 100. Now we'll go back to the workbench. Now let's click Pad. And this time, click the Thick option. So click it, and it's going to give you a larger window. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make a thickness around the edges. So if you zoom in, you can see that there's going to be a thickness here. So the center is going to be hollow, and there's going to be a thickness of one millimeter all the way around. If we increase this thickness, you can see that it increases in our part. So let's make this 10 and let's click preview. And now you can preview the part as it's thickened. So with the pad you're able to just draw the square and kind of make a hollow opening in the middle. So now let's click the mirrored extent 2 to extend it back and let's click OK. So now on this one we've been able to thicken and mirror extent this pad. So this is an overview of how to use the pad feature within Katia. So you need to have your closed uh, sketch and profiles. And it's just this uh, tutorial just shows you how to use the tools to, uh, to extrude it out and the uh, various options and uh, variables that you need to fill out and manipulate to make your pad. So this concludes our tutorial on how to use the pad feature within Katia V5.